welcome back to my youtube channel once again my name is lola um and i want to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed who liked the video who shared for your positive comments and encouragement so far thank you guys thank you so much and um if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for what exactly are you waiting for subscribe now subscribe subscribe <laughs> subscribe please like and share the video um and um before we dig right into today's video i i want to say that i have a child <laughs> i have a baby and um i wanted to do the video while he's sleeping but it seems that is not feasible at all so we will include him so if you hear some sounds you know if you hear his, his sounds if you hear his his sound yeah because i mean he's not yet speaking so i have a i have a five month five month old and um it's just me with him in the house so please <laughs> all right so i want to talk about my pregnancy journey and um i would not <sighs> <laughs> so i will not be talking about my pregnancy journey without talking about um the before pregnancy because i felt it was like a journey you know um so i i got pregnant april 2022 yeah um although i got married in march 2021 but we had decided for certain reasons not to get pregnant until that time until april so i got pregnant and <laughs> so i got pregnant um in april so before that in december 2021 i just noticed that i gained weight excessively um i don't know whatever could have happened during that time i can't remember but i gained weight and i wasn't happy about it so um i decided to like lose some weight not even because of the pregnancy i did not even started talking about the pregnancy at that moment but i felt like was the wait for <laughs> i wasn't i wasn't liking it so i decided to you know lose weight and what did it for me was i started like taking evening walks morning walks and um i took lots of water and intermittent fasting so um by february 2022 i had already like i lost like 10 kg and i got to my desired weight and shape so yeah um so, like I said, we had decided that we're going to um, get pregnant. And um, by March, we started trying. And um, so that that particular day, I was at work. And and part of the things I was doing while I was, um, you know, losing weight and other things was I was loving on myself. I think that was one of my goals for 2022. I, I increased the self-love I had. I was, you know, I, I, I just wanted to love on myself much more. Let me check that my mic is working. Yeah. So I wanted to, to I, I was just loving on myself. I was, um, I would do reels on Instagram. I was recording. I was, you know, I was just enjoying my life <laughs> as much as I can, you know. Um, so that, that particular day I was at work and I was in the treatment room with one of the carers. So like I said, I was doing intermittent fasting. So, but that morning I was feeling excessively tired. I was so tired and then I was weak. So I, I mentioned to her that I feel very tired. Although I had it in mind that probably was because of the intermittent fasting, but it wasn't unusual for me to have not, to, to not have eaten at that time of the morning. So I was scared, like what's going on? Why, <laughs> why am I, um, why am I this tired and weak? You know, it was not like I was tired alone, but I was feeling, you know, unnecessarily weak. So I mentioned to her, I called her name and told her that I was feeling weak. And she said, oh, why not do a pregnancy test? And I'm like, how did we even jump from tired to pregnancy test? That just advised me to, you know, just relax. But I mean, it's once, you know, it's just expected. Let's not. Um, so it's just expected, right? so um i i managed to finish work that day um i had a day and all of that and when i got home in the night because it, it was a long day it was a long shift from seven o'clock till 7 p.m in the night so when i got home 
I did a pregnancy test. I used, um, I can't remember the name of the brand, but it's one of these popular brands of um, pregnancy test kits. So um, I did a pregnancy test and it was negative. It came out negative. Uh, I can't, I think I cried at la that night because like I said, we started trying. So I felt like, what is going on? Like, why am I not pregnant? And I was like, we just are trying. Why are you so discouraged? Why was the emotions for? I mean, it felt like, it's just we just had a try so what's this for but for me i felt like ah, once we started trying, you should, you should work now <laughs> um so that's just by the way so right we started trying and um so i did the pregnancy test it was negative and um so we went to bed that night and the following morning i was the following day i was off duty so like i said i was shooting reels on instagram and I was, I think I was shooting reels about a particular reset day, a day that I'm off duty. So um, while I was cleaning and doing all those stuff, I I got to the part of like emptying the bin. Mm -hmm. So when I got to where I would tie the bin and haul, the Holy Spirit just made it start to me to, you know, check the bin and pick the test strip I had disposed the previous night that that was that came out negative. So, I mean, here. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm pregnant. I don't know. Oh my god. I don't know how I feel now. I don't know. I'm just. Until next week to check. <laughs> and I checked and I saw a very I didn't see anything at first. Then I saw a very thin line and I'm like, right, right. <laughs> and you know, I listened to the local solutions and where she was, you know, she does um, match to motherhood. You can check that out on Instagram and um, you will you will love it, especially if you're a Christian and you're trusting God for the fruit of the womb. So, um, so yeah, I checked. I, I, I mean, Tony Lockwood channel, I mentioned that even if it's a very thin line, you know, just um, capitalize on that and believe that you're pregnant. So, yeah, I... I saw a very thin line, but I felt like probably it was just, you know, maybe the solution, you know, maybe the urine had, I just gave an excuse in my head, but then I paid attention to it and kept it to myself. So I waited until maybe the following week, I did another test now using a digital strip. So the digital strip is not going to show me lines. It was just going to tell me pregnant or not pregnant. So I think that day my husband was also at home. Sorry, I'm trying to like crop my child. <laughs> so my husband was at home and I did a test and it came out positive. So, yeah, so it was positive and I told my husband about it. He was happy and um, I would quickly had that, you know, in Nigeria or in Africa, we tend to like, you know, respect our, we want to hide pregnancies, you know, especially um, when it is not visible yet, because when it's not visible, I mean, uh, because you cannot hide pregnancy anyways for a long time. And even if you hide pregnancy, the result of pregnancy is coming very soon. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I... Okay, so I told my husband about it, and I said I said that to say that um I I respect people's pri privacies and I adore mine as well, but there are important people you need to carry along, and I also believe that some journeys cannot be done cannot be cannot be walked alone, and pregnancy is one of them. It's very important that you tell important people, um, so that um you are not alone. You don't feel alone you know um so i i um and i'm going to talk about some things that i experienced um not as a standard definitely 
it's not going to be a standard because we are different, right? And um, and it's just to tell you that people go through things, people experience things. So when you're going through things, it's not just you. And expect things. And if if it's a smooth ride, don't be scared that something is wrong. It's just okay, right? We are different. Um, so um, I did the test. It was positive. I had to call my manager because I mean, like I said, I'm a nurse, and um, if you're a nurse or you do like some heavy, some work that require you doing some heavy things, I, I, I would advise that you tell your manager or somebody you are responsible to so that um, you are kept, um, because there are some like safe practices that are kept in place for um, people that are pregnant, you know. So I told my manager about it and I think I told my deputy manager as well. And um, and the next thing is, um, okay, I, I told the people around me, my my friends, the family friends we have around, so they are aware. You know, everybody was happy. You know, <laughs> uh, it was it was such a lovely lovely time. Everybody was just happy. <laughs> so another thing is, um, so I called my parents and my in laws and all of that and everybody. Just the period of you know informing people and everything. So yeah. So and then the myth of when you're pregnant, you start experiencing symptoms the moment you know. You know, I think I experienced that because what, before I knew, I knew I was tired. But I mean, I was. <laughs> I knew I was tired, but then I felt like I was, I was, um, I was still managing it, you know. So the moment I knew, you know, I started feeling nauseated, um, and that was like the first trimester. By the way, trimester is like the three phases of pregnancy. You know, the first trimester, the first three months. The second trimester is the second three months. And the first, third trimester is the third is the last three months. So um, so and then another thing is I called my midwives and told them about the pregnancy. You know, um, for you to if you're pregnant in the United Kingdom, especially, I can only say of what I know. So in the United Kingdom, you can go on Google and check the um, midwives in your local area and call them and let them know. You know. So um, I called them and they said they would get back to me. So um, I started feeling nauseated. I was feeling tired, you know, because we had watched Hollywood movies now. And, you know, when somebody's vomiting, that means that the person is pregnant. So I was happy to, to feel nauseated. I was happy when it graduated to vomiting. And I felt like, oh, you know, first three months, I'll be all right. But, but... <laughs> I was all right, <laughs> but then, <laughs> so I vomited a lot. I just said that. I mean, I think I had a birthday shoot on the twenty first of May, and uh, no, on the twenty eighth of May. So um, it was my husband. We went to the beach. You know, we we just had fun. We took a lot of pictures, and then I came back home vomiting. So by the following day of that birthday shoot, I had to go to the emergency because I couldn't retain anything. I was vomiting. I was vomiting. So I called my friend who is a doctor, um, Tutu, and then she told me to, to call my midwife to let them know what, what was happening. So I called my midwife to tell them that I couldn't retain anything. I vomited like six times around that time. And I think it was in the afternoon and I, I wasn't retaining anything. So they told me to find my way to the emergency. You can see at the moment, I mean, at that moment. So I went to the emergency. I was given some medication. I was discharged eventually with um, cyclizing tablets, anti-emetics, that's anti-vomiting tablets. So I was meant to be taking it, I think, twice in a day. Um, but it made me feel very dizzy and tired. So I was just managing with it. And then I I was, um, I loved, I, then I was just craving watermelon. So I bought like a full pack of watermelon. That's like six or five in a pack. So I was just taking watermelon and at least I kept it down and then it hydrated me. So that was, that was all right. So the, I think the major highlight for my first trimester was the vomiting. It was just too much. And then, 
again after the after the emergency thing i still had to go back to the hospital and i was admitted on the ward um because i was just vomiting you know even with the tablet sometimes i was i was it was just it was it, it was too exhausting so second trimester came i felt much better um i mean at that time um it was um i, I was still vomiting I, I vomited all through my pregnancy anyways even until i gave birth when i had my baby immediately i had the baby i vomited again and i think that was the last one so um i vomited all through my pregnancy so second trimester i was still vomiting but definitely i was feeling better i was feeling stronger um i had cravings i was craving very peppery food i wanted pepe <laughs> but like raw pepe not raw like i had to cook it but then i want i wanted so much pepe in my food and yeah i did that i had pepe and then i wanted like um different varieties i just wanted to like cook this cook that and i was cooking it i was eating it and i was fine you know even though i was vomiting in between but um at some point towards the end of the second trimester it was um it was becoming like just vomiting in the morning so after i had vomited in the morning i might be all right i might still vomit a bit in the afternoon but it wasn't too much and like i said i was coping better yeah so i cooked varieties of food um i was loving on myself i was you know i was just um i was um getting much better that was just the highlight of the second trimester i would check my phone to be sure that i'm not i'm not missing out anything yeah so the third trimester the bump had started growing and it was becoming noticeable at some point because the bump was growing and it was pressing on some nerves i had sciatica um i was finding it very difficult to walk like i at some point i had to i think there was even a point i called in sick at work that i couldn't come i had to go to the hospital and the doctor said there was nothing there was nothing if even the doctor said okay just wait in the reception let me contact other consultant and all and they went to do their meeting and they came back they said there is nothing they can do all i just need to do is just rest so um like i said it was a third trimester so the bump was already growing the baby i can't remember if i started feeling movement i'm not sure i think i started feeling movement but it felt like my like bowel movement like i wanted to pull but i knew this is not pull i knew that there was just something be down there that was moving so that was uh, like rhythmic moving like movement rather it was just i didn't know what it was then like i said i was now in more in contact with my midwives i was going for appointments and they had the time to for you to do scan so i was going for my appointments i didn't miss any at all and um I think it was a third trimester that the L visitor came to the house to check. So they will come to your house to check um, how your house is. They will ask you if you feel safe, you know, um, um, if you need anything. They will just check you generally, your emotional, physical environment and all of that, just to be sure that you are preparing for your baby. So, um, so um, like I said, I was happier. I had a baby shower. Um, organized by myself and my friends um then there was eat i think that was also like um towards the end of summer but then i was still feeling odd it was very odd so um then again i was nesting nesting is like when you are preparing your physical space for the baby to come so i was i was nesting i was like cleaning the room i was arranging here they will i asked my midwife for for example like what would i need to bring to the hospital because back in nigeria they were asked you to bring cotton wool uh spirits da 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 but yeah my midwife said go on google and browse it so i went on google and i asked questions as well i asked um people around me what do i need to get and everything and everything so that was it so and immediately i did my baby shower i did the gender reveal as well so everybody knew i was having a boy and um you know people gave um, gender specific gifts and you know 
just like a first time mom you still want to like do extra even though i'd watch youtube videos and they said i would not need to really really buy more channel of that but then it's the first child and then you're like you want you want to just be extra <laughs> it's all right i mean it's normal so i would um insert i would do videos about um I would do, I would probably do a video about the baby shower and then like, and then I would do a video about the hospital bag what's in my hospital bag I actually did a video about that and I will post it please um you know just look out for it very soon so that was majorly what I did in my third trimester it was more of appointment then it was that, that was pretty much it um the major thing that happened was just like the major highlight for me was just a pregnant and the vomiting i was vomiting a lot um but yeah we came out strong and we thank the lord we have our testimony and definitely this is also to encourage every other person trying um your baby will come you will carry your babies i'm i'm certain of that um none shall be barren in the land says the lord of hosts so you will carry your baby and um, you will give testimony right so um that is it about the video i hope you enjoyed it please like share give a positive comment and um if you have any video in mind that you want me to shoot if you have anything that might be like you want um maybe there is a video you want me to like if there's something you want me to talk about definitely you can put your suggestions in the comment section and I will look through them. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.